Hey, in this video, I'm going to explain how to use keywords in your content strategy. It's really important to take into consideration what your audience is searching online in order to make sure that the content that you publish solves a specific problem or addresses an objection or explain a solution that your audience is looking for. As an introduction, I will explain the content creation process. You have three steps that you need to go through in order to to create good content. The first one is research. The second one is ideation. And the third one is creation. Then you will be able to move to the fourth one, which will be the distribution of this content, which is also very important, and then move to the repurposing content. But today we will focus on the step number one, which is to research about your audience, their pain points and the solution they are looking for. And maybe a little bit as well about the step number two, which is the ideation. Because what is important to understand is that you should not create content based on your assumptions. You should pull the content ideas from the market. And this is exactly what we're going to see today with one technique, which is the keywords analysis. And by the way, many people think that keywords Keywords analysis is only for SEO, search engine optimization, but basically keywords research can be used for any type of content marketing. It can be also used for your marketing strategy in general. This video will be mainly about B2B marketing, but you can also use it for B2C if you are within this industry. So I'm going to make it really practical today because I'm going to show you one tool that is called SEMrush. SEMrush helps you to find and analyze keywords around a key topic. So today I'm going to use only the free version of this tool so you can do it as well. I will share a link in the description so you can go to this tool. So here you see I'm on the dashboard of SEMrush. You can look on the left at many different options but what we'll do today is click on keyword overview because we want to have an overview of a specific keyword and here let's do a small case study let's say we are a podcast agency meaning that we do an online course to teach people how to record podcasts but also we have an agency that record podcasts and do all the distribution for our clients so i will start with a simple keyword which is podcast obviously i will choose a target market which is the UK for now, but basically you can choose your target market here. I click search and here you have with the free version, a quick overview of this keyword. So basically the keyword difficulty is very hard. That means that there are a lot of competition that are targeting this keyword. And basically it's hard to rank on the top of the Google pages with this keyword. Then you have the volume. So every month the keyword podcast is typed and searched for 33,100 times. Then you have the global volume. So you have the top five with US, Brazil, Germany, Spain, and France. And then we have UK, which is not in the top five, but that's okay because that's our target market. We also have the cost per click and the competitive density. Then here is the important part for us. So you have the keyword ideas. You have first all the keywords that are related to this keyword podcast. Then you have questions. So the questions are very important for us, you will see later. And then you have the related keywords. So they will show obviously uh, when someone typed a wrong way to say podcast and you also have other related keywords. So here, the first thing we can see is that the total volume of all the keywords with podcast is 3.8 million so that's a lot then the second thing that we can see is that there are 489,000 keywords so let's have a deeper look at this part so within this table you have the keywords you also have the intent you have the volume the keyword difficulty and the cost per click so basically the keywords here are very broad uh, we will see later how to have a, a more precise keyword then you have the intent you can see here that the user wants to investigate brands or services. Then you have navigational, meaning that the user wants to find a specific page or site. And the transactional, the user wants to complete an action, a conversion such as a lead or a sales. And then the last one is the informational. The user wants to find an answer to a specific question. So here you have an important concept of 
the keyword analysis is the intent. It's important to know the intent of your audience because when they type something, they have something in mind. Maybe they want some answers, they want to find a specific page, or they want to buy something. By understanding which keywords or which question is linked to the intent that you want, you can build content based on a specific intent. So let's say I want to create high intent blog post or high intent how to guide. What I need to do is find the keywords that are related to high intent behaviors. If I go back to keyword overview, I will show you now the questions. So you can click here on view all the keywords. And here on the free version, you just have a quick snapshot, but it's really important. So basically here, it's all the questions that the audience is asking online and your goal is obviously to answer those questions in your content. So the very broad one is what is a podcast? How to start a podcast? That's interesting for us. I have a word podcast, how to listen to podcasts and what is a podcast and how does it work? How to fail a podcast? How to make a podcast? So basically here we have a lot of questions, a lot of questions that we can answer with our content. It can be a guide where we explain first what is a podcast and then how to create your own podcast. Then you you can publish it everywhere online, on social media, on Google search. You can use it as a content upgrade on YouTube, or on LinkedIn post as well. So basically based on the keywords, I will create a specific content. Then the last one is the related keyword. So here you can see we have all the keywords that are linked to a podcast that is typed in the wrong way. So this is kind of interesting only here to know that some people type podcast. So you need to take that into consideration. I'm not telling you that you need to change the, the word or the keyword. You only need to have it in mind. All right. So this is the tool SEMrush. You can do many things with it. It was just an introduction because here what I want to explain is the link between the market demand and the content creation. Every content that you create should come from a source, from some research. So you are sure that when you publish a content, you are answering demand. Now, of course, there are other sources of keywords and of insights. So you can look at other sources such as sales calls. So basically what you will do is record the calls that your sales team has with clients or with the audience. And then you will list all the objections, the needs, the solution that we are looking for and you will have a swipe file with all the insights that you need. Then you have a second type which is social media listening. So basically what you will do is that you will use a tool to analyze what is happening on social media. You will see the top trending keywords, the top trending topics and based on that you will ideate content. Then the third one is to analyze the engagement and the results of your own social media. So let's say you have a LinkedIn company page and a LinkedIn personal profile. You post every day and based on the engagement, so likes, comments, and maybe sometimes direct messages, you will be able to spot what are the best topics that your audience is really interested about. And based on that, you will install a market feedback loop. So feedback between the audience and you, and you will be able to update your content or to ideate new content based on the feedback that you received on social media. All right, so in this video, I explain how to use research and keywords and other sources of insights to create and ideate your content. Make sure to put research before content creation because I saw a lot of marketers that are trying to make content based on their assumption, based on what they seen like five years ago. They are also using outdated playbook when it comes to content. They only post like on the company pages of LinkedIn and they post an ebook every three months. That's not enough. That's why you need to research a lot of insights and based on those insights, you need to create your content. So if you like this video and you want to go further on your content creation, I created a free guide on how to build your content strategy and you can download it with the link in this video. And if you want more daily marketing tips, make sure to follow me on YouTube, LinkedIn and Instagram. All right. So thanks for listening to this video and I will see you in the next one.